Hi everybody, so it is week six and a half. I wasn't intending on doing a hive check today, but I just added a shim, which just gives them a little bit more room. So when I put a pollen patty in, they have some more space. And I just took a quick peek and I noticed a couple queen cups on the side, just starting to be built. Looked like more like super seeder cells, which means they have perhaps an intention of replacing the queen. But there was no eggs, or there were no larvae inside, and I've read that sometimes they just do this for kind of backup, but I probably should just do a whole hive check, so that's what I'm doing today. So again, just to recap, when we're doing a hive check, we're looking for eggs, because that means the queen is producing. We want to look for a good brood pattern, meaning it's nice solid brood that's capped, and a nice solid egg pattern, that means she's laying well, and we want to just check for queen cells, and we just want to look at just general activity. There are the ladies. And I have the entrance opened a little bit more because we had have had some rainy weather and I wanted some better ventilation and the ladies were anxious to get out as well. Inner cover over here. And a couple puffs of smoke here. I've refilled this about five days, uh, three days ago and they've drank about maybe Probably about a half a quart of syrup. Up to the top here. Puff underneath. So this is the shim that I added earlier, and this is essentially the spacer. One, two, three, four, five. So about half of these frames are filled with bees. I don't know if you can see. So, we're going to move slowly here. This frame is empty. This one's empty as well. No drawn comb. And this one. It's half drawn. This side's empty. This side is drawn. This has full of nectar and syrup. Comb number four. Completely drawn out, both sides. Hatch larvae and eggs on that side. Move these out of the way. Sorry girls. These are pollen patties, pollen substitutes to give them Protein. This is frame number five. This one feels nice and heavy. This one's got a good brood pattern on it. That's capped. Soon to be hatched bees. And in those cells that are not capped, we have developing larvae. Great. That brood pattern could be a little denser, but I'll take it. And this side, oops, that'd be, is capped as well. So here is where I see something that might be potentially worrisome. Right here. Queen cell, potentially queen cup. Where's the other one? Cell two. Okay, so that's frame number five. Careful when we put these back in, you give them a little wiggle. Try not to squish anybody. This is frame number five. This is the frame that I brought up from down below. Much of that has emerged. This side also has a good brood pattern. I don't see my queen. I do see a few drones. It's a little bit spotty. I do see some eggs in there. Nectar and honey stores are on the outside. More brood. On this side, more brood as well. 
this entire frame on this side is developing larva. Everything is hatched. I don't see my queen on this one either. Oh, there's my queen. Do you see her? I see her. That's good. There she is. See her? There she is. This little peach dot right there. Do you see her? Crawling at the end of the frame there. I'm going to try to get her back in there before I lose her. So let's get her back in there. So she was on frame number seven. Right here. So tap that in there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, next. This one has, is completely built out on both ends. And these two have eggs in it, great. So we make sure we put these on the same way as we, same direction as we found them. These need to be tight because we need to uh, respect the space. Now I'm going to put these over here. So this is box number one. Bee population looks pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least six and a half all covered. The two end ones are not covered. Puffs. This one feels heavy. It's got a pretty good brew pattern. What we really want is it to be really nice and dense like this. There's some holes here. There's some honey or syrup stores. And I don't see a lot of pollen stores. I'm going to be giving them more pollen. So I don't see a lot of pollen stores. Around the edge, I do see some larva. That's a queen cup. It's on the bottom, indicating it might. That's usually when it's on the bottom. That's an indication they may swarm. But I don't see a larva or an egg in there. This one feels heavy too. Yeah, that's a good bird pattern. Now, last time I put the slotted rack here, I put this on backwards, so I'm going to turn this around. Alright, so put that back this way. Put these guys back. So I'm going to add some thumbtacks to give them a little bit more ventilation on each one of the corners here. These pennies always want to move, so I think thumbtacks would be better. That gives it makes a little crack in there, and that way improve the ventilation. So that was week six and a half hive check. I felt a lot better after I went down into the first brood box to see entire frames covered with eggs because up top I noticed that there was one frame that was built out but didn't have any eggs. And after seeing solid frames of eggs and then of course different stages of hatched larvae, I felt a lot better. So I found one more queen cup. It was empty, there was no larva, no egg in there. I'll just have to keep an eye on those things to make sure, you know, if they plan on swarming, which is kind of unlikely for a package, but still got to keep an eye on that. If that's the case, I'll have to get a new queen and replace her because if I let the bees do their thing, it'll be a couple weeks before she hatches, and that means there'll be a whole delay in the development of the bees. Complicated and fun and a little bit stressful, <laughs> but I'm enjoying myself so much so far. So yeah, tune in for the next bee vlog. See ya, bye! So right now I have two medium brood boxes on and one of the boxes is being used to hide my syrup so I'm going to need more space soon. So I have two more boxes that I'm going to assemble and I'll show you how to do that. Pretty simple. So I'm building two boxes here. I'm going to need two sides. There is a top edge right here. It's really important that this top edge remains on the top. So we're going to line these up. I love I wanna you. Make, I love you too. I'm going to make sure the handles are facing upwards. Good. So that's it. 
this medium is built and now it's ready to paint. We're just going to put a clear coat of water-based polyurethane and let it dry for a couple of weeks before we introduce it to the bees. We only want to paint the outside. We don't want to paint the inside at all because we want to keep that nice and fresh pine wood exposed for the bees.